Hi everyone, John here from All Miniatures Great and Small, and today we're going to do a quick review on this uh, Frontline Gaming Conversion Map. So this is um, in regards to playing 40k. Now in 40k, um, previous versions have used or recommended a 4x6 table. That's what I have here, a nice big 4x6 table. Um, the latest edition of Warhammer 40k, the 9th edition, inexplicably changed the recommended table size uh, to 44 by 60 inches instead of um, you know, 48 by 72. So they really shortened it up. So the issue arises, and you may have seen it in some of our battle reports already, that we want the um, so we want to use the recommended size because we're on YouTube and we want to play the game the way Games Workshop recommends. So what we're going to do is we're either going to block off or put tape or something to mark the new dimensions. So this product from Frontline Gaming is meant to resolve this. So this is the metal version. I think they have some with hazard stripes that is meant to um, supplement the table and convert it to um, the correct size. So there we go. So I had to use my other arm for that. So the texture looks pretty cool. It, um, we're doing this one-handed which makes it a little bit harder to, to do. This is good that I'm getting on a tape so I can remember how to do it. So the conversion set comes with different pieces. So this piece is going to go over here. Well, what I'll do is I will set this up and then come back and show you. Okay, I've got it set out. We can see, let me see if I can back out to get a big picture of this. I put some 40k models on the table just to give you an idea of the scale. So it's a pretty dramatic difference. I mean, lengthwise, that's not too bad. You're only cutting off two inches. And I didn't measure this. It is two inches. The length of this should be 60 inches. And it is close enough. It's like 60 and one eighth or something like that. But this is quite a significant chunk of board that's cut off of your uh, 40K playing field. Which, um, you know, I'm kind of mixed feelings about it. You know, I, I don't mind it, per se. Um, it does give you a place to put cards, dice, all that kind of stuff, dead models, um, on the board, which is nice. And uh, maybe one of the reasons they did it. I know one of the reasons I've heard floating around was to match the size of the boards that they have, but... I'm not sure if that's just gossip or if that's truth. So if you know, sound off in the comments below, but um, I find it uh, pretty cool. So it saves me. I know a lot of people are buying, rebuying their boards in the new dimension. So Frontline Gaming and many other companies are now selling 44 by 60 gaming boards. But I just don't see that as a great solution because, well, one, I don't want to have to rebuy all of the mats I have or cut my existing mats because... We all know Games Workshop, there's a good chance next edition, it'll go right back to 6x4. And there's no reason why you can't play any of the missions or games on a 6x4 table if you want to. I mean, really, that's up to you. So, there you go. The uh, But as far as a review for a product, I think this is pretty cool. I like the neutral metal look versus the, like I said, they had a hazard stripe version on sale as well um, for $20. I don't think it's a bad investment. It's the same material that the uh, boards are made from. So it's, um, you know, it's going to last. It can survive spills, all that good stuff. And once it's on the board, it's not, it's not really going anywhere. You can't slide it. You know, I'm sliding the whole tabletop there. Same thing here with, uh, Star Wars Legion, they also have a smaller than 4x6 table, and I made my own cutoffs, and uh, that works, but it's not as nice. I think these look, 
these look nice. All right, well, there you go, guys. So do I think you should buy it? If you play 40K, 9th edition, you want to use the new table size. If you don't want to cut up your existing mats, $20 is a pretty decent investment. Here at Amgas, we have about 10 of these mats from various companies. So this is going to be very handy in, um, you know, in making that happen. All right, well, there you go, guys. Let's look at uh, Frontline Gaming's conversion kit to change your uh, 6x4 table into a 60 inch by 44 inch Warhammer 40k 9th edition approved tabletop. As always, thanks for watching guys. Check us out on Facebook if you want to follow us there and see what we're up to. We try to post projects that we're working on and stuff like that. We like to interact with you. Also let us know down in the comments below what you guys think about the move to this new table size. Good, bad, indifferent. I'm kind of indifferent myself but uh, you know, looking forward to playing some games on this new board. So I think this is going to look a lot cooler on camera than tape or extra buildings blocking off that size. As always though guys, thanks for watching and keep on wargaming.